Hey trainers, get ready for the next big update in Pokemon Go. In fact, Pokemon Go version 1.149.0 has already started rolling out for some Android devices and shortly after that it'll be available to you iPhone users as well on iOS. This update is going to be jam packed with changes to our appraisal system that's already in the game. There's going to be some PvP changes as well as there's going to be some quality of life buffs and nerfs unfortunately. This is also going to be the first update to even mention anything about Team Go Rocket and you did hear that right? They're going to be called Team Go Rocket here in Pokemon Go as well as mentions of the shadow Pokemon that we've all been hearing and speculating about. I know you're as excited about this update as I am so let's just get right into it and let's see what this update's all about. Let's take a look at the new appraisal system in Pokemon Go first. On the screen you'll see my 87% shiny Zapdos. Let's see what the new appraisal system looks like when we hit appraise. So I knew before that my Zapdos' only perfect stat was its attack stat. And you can see because it's a perfect stat, it's a different color than the other stats. In fact, any perfect stats will be a fully filled red bar. It even tells you that I caught this Pokemon here in Duluth, Minnesota. Next, let's take a look at this perfect IV Pidgey I recently caught from a research task. As you can see, the sticker on the screen for a perfect actually turns red rather than the normal orange color. This is going to make it very easy to spot out these elusive perfect Pokemon from the rest of the Pokemon. On the screen now is a graphic by Radimus from Reddit and he has made a quick graph showing all the different levels. I'll put a link to his page where you can find the original down in the description. The next part in this update was a PvP update. There are two new changes coming to Pokemon Go PvP. The first is a change to the UI. Let's get into a PvP battle here with Candela and I'll show you the new UI layout. I'll also put up an older version next to the new version so we can see the difference. As you can see, it looks much cleaner and nicer than before. The bars on the top now display the name and the CP of both you and your opponent. Not only that, you can now see your shield charges up in the same bar just next to the Pokeballs that symbolize how many Pokemon you have left. Let's let Candela's Infernape use a charge move so we can shield up and see what happens next. So it looks like once you use a shield charge, you can see up there on your information bar that the shield charge gets depleted and gets grayed out. I believe this update to the UI will level the playing field a little more as well as making it less intimidating for new players to get into PvP because there will be less things to worry about like keeping track of how many shield charges your opponent has used. It'll just show up at the top of the screen so you can see it easily. The second update to PvP is an update to what Niantic calls battle mini games. Just like on the screen you used to just tap vigorously on your phone to charge up your charge attack to its maximum capacity. Let's take a look at the new charge move mini games that Niantic support posted earlier on Twitter. Here we have Feraligator going up against an Entei. It looks like the trainer started by swiping from the top left of the screen down at an angle towards the bottom right. That seems to have triggered a shower of water type icons to rain down and if I had to guess, the more you collect by swiping on the screen, the more damage you will do with your Hydro Pump. Next, you see Scissor. It looks like they're slicing through the steel type icons to rack up more damage on your charge move. Next, we have Rhydon. And it looks like rocks are tumbling down. And the more you collect by swiping, the more damage it will do. This update is definitely going to bring more variation to PvP battles. Next, let's talk about some small quality of life changes that Niantic will be adding to Pokemon Go. First, they added an option in the search function. The numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 followed by an asterisk will do a different variation of the same function. That function is a quick scan of all your Pokemon's IV. A quick type of 0 with an asterisk is going to show you all of your Pokemon whose IV ranges from 0 to 49%. 1 with an asterisk will show Pokemon with IVs ranging from 50 to 65%. Two with an asterisk will show a Pokemon whose IVs range between 66 and 80%. Three with an asterisk will show a Pokemon between 81 and 99%. And finally, the four with an asterisk will show all of your coveted perfect IV Pokemon. The one small nerf Niantic took from the last update was the quick catch method that was exclusive to Android users. 
Android users were able to throw a ball at a Pokemon, then quickly tap the back button on their devices and that would completely skip the catch animation, making it much more effective and faster at catching Pokemon. Although they took this method away, the old tried and true method of dragging the ball icon or berry icon over before throwing the ball, then releasing everything once the ball hits the Pokemon to expose the escape button on the top left still works. This part of the video is all speculative as it pertains to Team Rocket being added to Pokemon Go. Up until now, we've only seen bits and pieces from the data miners about Team Rocket. With this update, Team Go Rocket is mentioned right in the description box from Niantic. Before this, I thought Niantic would have waited until after GoFest Yokohama to release Team Rocket into the game because of how GoFest Chicago and GoFest Dortmund went. But we could be getting the new game feature much earlier. And that is everything that we know of so far that's included in this next big update to Pokemon Go. If anything else comes up, you can bet that I'll be here to let you know about all the new and exciting features that's going to be coming to Pokemon Go. If you liked this video format and the information provided, be sure to hit the like button down below to let me know. And hit the subscribe button while you're at it. And always be the first to know of any new things that are going to be coming up on my channel. If you didn't like the video, let me know in the comments what I can work on. I wish all of you trainers shiny luck in your hunts to come, and I hope to see you in the next video.